on July 13th. The Secret Service moved to increase assets to an already enhanced security posture for the former president. In the days that followed, President Biden made it clear that he wanted the highest levels of protection for former President Trump and for Vice President Harris. The Secret Service moved to sustain increases in assets and the level of protection sought. And those things were in place yesterday. At approximately 1.30 p.m., former President Trump was playing golf during an off-the-record movement to the Trump International Golf Course. A Secret Service advance agent supporting the front edge of the agency's layered approach to protection encountered an individual attempting to secrete himself in the wood line. This happened, the alleged gunman was on the public side of the fence near the sixth green. A layered approach of security is integral to the Secret Service's protective methodologies. And it's also the key to our success. As former President Trump was moving through the fifth fairway across the course and out of sight of the sixth green, the agent who was visually sweeping the area of the sixth green saw the subject armed with what he perceived to be a rifle and immediately discharged his firearm. The subject who did not have line of sight to the former president fled the scene. He did not fire or get off any shots at our agent. With reports of gunfire, the former president's close protection detail immediately evacuated the president to a safe location. The protective methodologies of the Secret Service were effective yesterday. The former president's protective apparatus allowed for the early identification of the threat and led to a safe evacuation. The increased assets directed by the president, by President Biden, were in place yesterday. These included the counter sniper team elements, counter surveillance place and uh, uh, counter surveillance agents on the exterior, counter assault teams partnered with local tactical assets from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and counter unmanned aerial system elements. All of these entities were present yesterday. And while all of these assets were in place, as I've said publicly, we must satisfy the basic requirements of the Secret Service's protective methodologies. In partnership with local law enforcement, we did just that. And the agent's hypervigilance and the detailed swift action was textbook. And I commend them and our partners for an exemplary response in keeping former President Trump safe. And I will tell you, having served in local law enforcement in Palm Beach County, I can state that I am tremendously impressed and appreciative for all of the efforts of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Snyder with the Martin County Sheriff's Office. But what was critical to this was the quick reaction, the response, the hypervigilance of the men and women of the United States Secret Service, who since July 13th have been rising to meet an unprecedented and hyperdynamic threat environment. And they are rising to this moment. And I could not be more proud of them and the way they have executed, not only yesterday, but what they're doing today and what they are doing tomorrow and what they will always do because it is their duty. Thank you.